Alrighty, how's it going everyone? Lawrence from Expressed Unity here. Um, and this is episode 2. So, last episode we left off with our basic login form. Um, and basically so far this just tells us uh, when we log in it'll tell us um, apparently I'm logged in. <laughs> um, I believe that is because I use this API in the time I'm gone, so if I just do something else here, it should say that we're not invalid username and password, there you go. So, basically where we left off is just a simple, simple login function. So, what we want to do now is, on our email field here, in the start function, let's do uh, email dot Actually, game object that set active and we'll make it false, right? So what this will do is when the game runs da -da 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 -da, that email field will not be there because it's not needed yet, right? That's only used for registration. So what we can do then is uh, when we're not logged in over here then we can say email the game object uh, that's set active to true like so and if we run this again the email field should now um, set to active uh, when it hasn't found this user account which it hasn't there it is alrighty so Let's make the registration now. So let's create a public void register and the Playfab client API has a, a register a register with Playfab user. And this has a register playfab request. <clears throat> so we can say here register with uh, register playfab user request. We'll just call it request. And in here we need to pass it the email, which will be our email.text. And then the username, which would be our username text, and then our password, oops, which would be the, oh god, my type is 10 out of 10, which would be the pass.txt. Alrighty, uh, what's going on here? Oh yeah, uh, so we need to say equals new. Register Playfab request. Alrighty. <clears throat> so that is all we need to request a uh, new user with Playfab. So you can see the first field wants the request. The next is the result callback. So that's what's going to happen when it's successfully registered the user. So we can do something like at the top there with our login, so result like that. And the next one is our error callback, so we'll just again call this error like so. And just to make it look neat and tidy, I'm just gonna enter down again, like so. Um, so, what we can do now is Let's. Oh, okay. Let's create a panel. Okay. I can. You can put this anywhere. I'm just putting it up the top for now. 
Um, we'll just make the color black for now. In this panel, let's get some text. And I'm just going to adjust the field to fit the panel, center everything, and let's do best fit. And I'll change the color to white. Alrighty. Um, we don't actually need anything in there right now. So this will be like our the message that comes up um, depending on what happens. So in our script now, let's go create a public text and let's just call it message. Alrighty, so if we just wait for that to load, There we go. Okay. So now what we can do in here, we can say message.text equals welcome, and we can just do user.text and then and do something else and say connecting like so and now in the register area we can just copy this and just say your account has been created alrighty So <clears throat> what we're going to want to do now is uh, text on this button, make it say login, and we'll drag it up to the side, maybe about there, copy and paste it, put it on the opposite side, and call this one register. So now we want to go to our Playfair both script and make that run the register function. And while we're at it, let's actually just rename these buttons to login button and register button. Alrighty, so I believe that's it. Uh, and while we're at it, let's uh, put the error message down here just the same something like fail to create your account um, so we'll put square brackets here and then we can say error dot error message so that we actually have an error and we know what's going on da -da -da. And then down here, we can say the same, fail to log in, and it'll be the same though. Alrighty, so I'm pretty sure we can give this a try now. Hopefully it all goes well. So if we try logging in with something random, I'm literally just going to type random, and random123, or we'll log in. Failed to log in, user not found. Um, so our details are still all there. Let's just random at random.com. And then if we go register, your account has been created. That's great. Um, so we can just refresh this now. I didn't need to stop the editor, but just to show it, show you that it's working. We can now say random. Uh, random, did I say random or do three? I can't remember, I think I did. Login. Welcome, random, connecting. Alrighty. So that's that done. And one thing I didn't check actually, we just want to make sure that it is authenticating. So random, random one, two, three, login. Yep, it's authenticating. Notice how the email field isn't popping up either. 
and let's actually make this a little bit nicer let's go ahead and uh, what was it on there we go panel let's try the panel up here uh, and then we want to drag all of this into the panel oh wait not yet sorry let's uh, shrink the panel first Like so, there it is, and we'll make the pillar darker. Now we can put all the contents inside, and in this main panel, uh, change the anchor from uh, stretched to the top. So basically what will happen now is when, um, depending on the screen scale of your build, it should remain uh, basically at, at the same aspect ratio as it is now it shouldn't stretch or tear or anything like that it should be should be fine um, <clears throat> see that's looking good um, one other thing we actually want to do though um, I mean, we can leave it like this for now, but if, for example, you don't have an account, there's no email field there. I mean, it might work out. Let's try it. So, let's go ahead and do RAND. RAND on the three. Click register. What will happen? Failed to create your account. Valid parameters. Okay. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Um, so, we can do this really, really weirdly, like that. <clears throat> um, and just for now, let's change this to, please enter your email. All right, so let's give this another shot. Rand, Rand123, register. Please enter your email, rand at rand.com, register. Your account has been created. We don't really need that anymore. We can say login. That's the login button locked. Huh. Try it again. Login. Why is the login button acting up? I can't actually, it's not to do with my code, I can't actually click the button. It's really weird. Let's see what happens if I drag it outside the panel. Something's clearly... Wait. What's the text for it? Is that it? For some reason, the text wasn't parented to it. Yeah, there we go. So, rand, rand123. Great, there we go. So, that's the basic setup for our login and registration system. Now, in our next episode, I'm going to be working on uh, the Photon side of things. So we'll be, after we log in, we will be connecting with Photon and we'll be spawning our first little object that the players will be able to just walk around and, and whatnot. I still have not got an idea of, all this, of how I want this game to turn out, but I mean, it's getting there. So, <laughs> alrighty. I'll see you guys in the next episode.